The Dallas County Jail is getting close to full capacity this week. County commissioners discussed the problem, putting some of the blame on a backlog of cases. Fox 4 Stephen Dial joins us now live from Dallas with the story. Stephen. The Dallas County Jail is near 90% full and some county commissioners are putting a lot of the blame on judges handling felony cases, but there are also other factors that go into why the numbers are so high. This is one of the highest population midnight counts that I've seen. This week in commissioner's court, Dallas County Commissioner John Wiley Price said he's sounding the alarm about the jail being on the brink of overcrowding. Capacity for men and women is more than 8,100, and currently the jail is nearly 90% full. Price is casting most of the blame on judges handling felony cases. County documents show about 1,000 felony cases have not been filed. Our misdemeanor judges, no problem. It's on the felony side of the aisle. My civil judges, no problem. We lead all of the counties. It is the felony judges that are, are giving us the most challenge with regards to their production or lack thereof. Documents shared in Commissioner's Court Tuesday showed each judge with hundreds of offenders waiting in jail. The county says a person accused of a felony is waiting nearly a month just for the charge to be filed with the DA's office. But the process doesn't stop there. Then the case has to be presented to the grand jury, which could take months. Records also show that there are other contributing factors to the high numbers in the jail. The state has hundreds of inmates who have yet to be transported to a state prison. County data also shows that there has been an increase in people detained by ICE. On top of all of that, lawmakers created a law that is also slowing the process. Senate Bill 6 limits when a judge can issue bail in the first days of a suspect being arrested. The process is also slower if the offender has another active felony case. If I had the 400 out from the state, if I had the other 400 mental out, if I had the ICE out, then I would be, uh, I could manage my population. The Dallas County DA says by law it has 90 days to charge someone. But if they are not charged or indicted after 90 days, the inmate must have a bond significantly reduced or be released. It is the collaboration of all of the storms at once. And we're the, we're the ones that's in the clutch with regards to this matter. And according to John Wiley Price, he says the county doesn't have a backup plan if it actually hits capacity. They don't have any agreements with any neighboring counties to move inmates anywhere. Of course, that will cost more money as well. And the county is currently already paying about $12 million a month to fund the jail.